Hey, Grace Bill here today. Today we'll be talking about frequently asked questions on my 2011 MacBook Pro fix. You guys had questions, I have answers. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to be talking about frequently asked questions on the 2011 MacBook Pro fix. The one that I did. Now, if you didn't see that video, it is right here and you have a 2011 MacBook Pro with this graphics card issue. I did a video almost a year back now. Now, if you're like me, you loved your 2011 MacBook Pro with the power you needed, the ports you wanted, a keyboard that functions, and not to forget my ultimate favorite, MagSafe. You know, that little device where you don't have to worry about people pulling out your laptop cord and messing up your laptop. Brilliant idea. Took it away. Don't understand why. Now, since making this video, all fairness, I did get a new MacBook Air. And I did a video on why I chose that. You can take a look at that right here. And unfortunately, I still had problems with the 2018 MacBook Air after only three months of owning it, which you can see that video right here. Oh, Apple. Kind of losing my faith a little bit in Apple. I'm thinking about going back to a Windows machine. It's not that I don't know how to use a Windows machine. I actually fix them quite frequently for friends. I just haven't found a laptop that's a Windows machine that I really enjoyed using yet. I mean, I don't like the Apple in a lot of aspects. I mean, I love their operating system. They are very well built, except for little issues like overheating, keyboard problems. It's like their quality control has gone out the roof and the pricing has gone through the roof. So I've been looking at Windows and I started with Windows back when it was DOS. So I know all about Windows. It's not that I'm just a fanboy of Apple. I mean, I'm kind of a fanboy, but I just prefer the operating system and I invested a lot of money into the operating system, computers, programs, and to switch over to Windows would be kind of a pain. And I never liked Windows laptops. I never fell in love with a Windows laptop like I did with my Mac, even though it's broken my heart several times. First and foremost, let's thank Carlos Klein for actually making this fix. Helped us out and made this fix. And then I made the video to help you guys get in there and actually show you how to do the fix. So brilliant man, we have a lot to thank for him. So make sure you thank him. I'll leave his link down below. So when I started this video of how to fix your 2011 MacBook Pro, my wife said to me, why are you doing a video on an old computer? And I said, eh, it might help a couple people. I think it helped more than a couple people. It's like my number one video video on my channel with over a hundred thousand views so I didn't think it would be as good as I thought it would be but apparently a lot of people were in the same boat that I was I kept getting the same questions over and over and over again so I thought I put together this video during this epidemic because people are spending more time fixing their machines right now because they have the time to answer some of these quick questions and that way if it's a question that I keep getting over and over again I can just plop this video in the link and respond to them and say hey just watch this video it'll tell you what you're looking for first question Question. I keep getting this question over and over and over again. My computer's running hot. My computer's running hot. He does have a fix on his website that I have not done myself, but you have to go through another whole programming nonsense just to get that fix. You want a real simple thing? Download this fan controller. I'll leave a link down below. It's just a fan controller and it'll control the speed of your fan so that way it could push that heat out. That will combat the heat problems that you're going to incur. For me, it's only when I first start up the machine. It takes a long time to start and get going and it seems to go really hot and then after a while it's been on it starts lowering and then whenever I'm trying to do like a graphics intense kind of program it will kick it up a notch so you're gonna lose power with this machine with this fix unfortunately it's not a perfect fix it's just not you can download the SMC fan controller down here that's what I use it shows you the temperature of the machine and you can change the fan speed so you can make it higher or lower and you can play with that okay so a lot of you tell me oh I did the fix and now it's not working do not update your machine once you update, it redoes everything and you're at square one. And I did say that in the video, but a lot of people didn't get that. So I wanted to put that out there. Don't update your machine. If you update the machine, goes back in there and resets everything to the original graphics card and you're back to square one with the problems with the lines going across the screen. I think you can upgrade your machine. It's just, if you do, you have to go through this fix again. And I think Apple's kind of making it harder because I don't know if they're trying to stop this fix or if they're just putting more security in place that's stopping this fix. I'm just saying if you're going to update, you got to do it at your own risk. I haven't updated since I did my fix. I just I did it I updated once, 
had a problem, and then did the fix, and then never did it again. Do not reset NVRAM or PRAM. If you do that, it puts the old graphics card right back, and we're in the same scenario with upgrading. It's It sends everything back to the original. Now, you can fix this, but you'll have to go through my video again and put everything back into place once again. Another common problem that I see is that people have stuff connected to their machine. Disconnect external mouses, external keyboards, external monitors, jump drives, anything that you have connected to the machine, disconnect it. Anything with a USB, a dongle, anything. You want to take everything out of the equation. I have one person that was having problems and meanwhile they had a jump drive in their machine the whole time and they're like, oh, I unplugged the jump drive and now everything works. Make sure you disconnect everything from the machine to make this process a whole hell of a lot easier. Disabling the crucible. This is probably the number one problem that a lot of people have. Unfortunately, sometimes when you go into recovery mode and you go through the steps and try to disable it, sometimes it doesn't take. And I don't know why this is, but I've gone through this myself where I had to do it numerous times and then reboot the machine, be able to go in there and do it. So follow my steps, try it more than once. Try it, like if it doesn't disable the first time and it's still giving that problem, go in there again, try to disable the crucible again. If it's still not working, try resetting the NVRAM. And I showed you that in the video on what buttons to press to reset the NVRAM. Try that and then go through the steps and disable the crucible. That was one of the fix. Another fix that I found was actually provided by one of you guys. You left a comment down below. I'm gonna put that comment right up here and I'm gonna leave that link down below. And they said that sometimes you have to do this to disable the crucible. So I haven't tried it personally, but I wanted to share it with you guys just in case it may help one of you. If you're having problems getting into recovery mode, I I found this one and I'm gonna post them right up here by one of my viewers. They posted a comment that was having problems getting into recovery mode. So if you can't get into recovery mode, this is the code that you can use to apparently fix recovery mode in terminal. The link's gonna be down in the description that they left so that way you guys could follow that, how to fix it in terminal to get back into recovery mode. So if you're having problems like that. Another question that I keep getting that comes up over and over again is how to disable the, the visual booting mode in the beginning. This is the code right here. I did put it in the description of the video, but I'm gonna put it again in this description, but that's the code. You just put that in there and that gets rid of the visualization of everything that's going in the background. If you can't disable the code, it's not a big deal. It's it's really what's happening in the background of the computer anyway. So it's not doing anything bad to your machine. It just doesn't look as pretty. But there you go. There's the code to disable all that visual startup and end screen nonsense that you're seeing. Again, guys, this is not a perfect fix. So there are certain things that are not going to work anymore. High-end graphics programs, certain programs that take advantage of graphics cards, you know, like OpenGL or something like that, may not work because it's using this graphics card that's built on the actual motherboard that's not intended to be used for heavy graphics. It's only supposed to help out that graphics card and we're actually using it as a graphics card. External monitors, not gonna work. I can't connect an external monitor. I have not found a fix for this. So if you're doing dual monitor off your laptop, that's not an option anymore. Those are the two main problems that I've seen. If you have any other ones, please report them down below so that way people know that they're not alone. Now, there is a chance that your machine has other problems wrong with it on top of the graphics card, so this fix, it may not work for you. There might be a problem with your hard drive and you may have to change out the hard drive or there might be other issues. You know, maybe the motherboard overheated it from the actual graphics card and it's no longer working. So there's a chance that this fix won't work for you. It's worked for a lot of people. I mean, I get, look at the comments on that video. It's a lot of people this worked great for, but you have to also realize that it is an old machine and there might be other underlying issues besides a graphics card that Apple should have fixed that might be going bad. Just to show you guys, mine is still working, 2011 here. Now, another question that I get a lot of is, do the brightness buttons work? Yes, they do. You can go really low or you can go really high. So the brightness buttons still work. Keyboard brightness buttons, they still work as well, which the keyboard, it does work. The keyboard lights come on and the buttons actually do work on this. So you can still have your brightness on your screen and you still have the brightness on your keyboard. So those do work. So I had a lot of questions about that, which was kind of funny to me, but I guess people really are worried about that. Another question that I got quite often was, will the camera camera work after this. And as you can see, I have it actually on so you can see that the camera is 
working. And that's you right now. Those are the people I'm speaking to right now. So yes, the camera does work. And I actually done FaceTime video on this quite often and I haven't had any problems. I do want to take this moment to say how I'm so impressed with the kindness that you guys show to one another. It's so funny, I, I, I see it all the time. You know, they ask me a question on how to fix something on the 2011 MacBook Pro, and you know, before I get a chance to answer it, one of you guys are answering, and I really appreciate that you guys are helping each other out. You're like, hey, I figured out how to do this. Oh, let me answer this question, and I really, I gotta say guys, the people that figure out how to do it just like I figured out how to do it, and you're going out and helping people, you're paying it forward. And I really appreciate that you do that because I can't get to everybody and I can't figure out some of the questions and then I'll get weird ones like this one right here and it doesn't even give me enough information to actually help them so I don't even know what to write but it's really nice that you guys help one another fix each other's computers and you see that hey I was in that scenario I figured it out or Will already gave me the answer and I figured it out or I took it to a buddy of mine and he watched the video or he just knew it and he knew how to figure out how to fix it let me respond to this person and help them get their computer working so I'm really impressed how you guys all came together and help one another out gives me hope in the human race especially during this time when you can't even get a roll of toilet paper another special thanks to Jerome Naidu I hope I'm not butchering your name I'm horrible at reading people's names Jerome actually put together a manuscript of my video if you will I guess that's what it would be called a manuscript of my video of all the steps that I take so that way you guys would have it and what I'm gonna do is he said sent it to me for free, so I'm gonna give it out to you guys for free, and it's a manuscript of everything, every step to go. He, he actually added pictures in there and everything, and he really took the time out to do that. And I really appreciate that, Jerome. I think it's gonna help a lot of people. Special thanks to him. I'm gonna try and host the link and have the description down below. It's gonna be a PDF, and it has pictures, and it shows you basically everything that I said and went through, so give a special thanks to Jerome. I'm gonna leave his link down below, too, for putting that together. I think it'll make a lot easier for some people that are watching the video and they can watch how I did it and then they have the manuscript that Jerome wrote and that way they can go through it and figure out what to do with what or how to do it. That's it for me guys. I hope this helped you. I hope this answered some questions. I know I didn't get them all but I'm doing my best. If this did help you, please like and subscribe and ring that bell. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys! Well, I gotta leave the office now. Wish me luck. Do you think this is overkill? Luke, I am your father. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.